Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you are both safe and doing well. In today's video, I share with you a quick and easy home decor DIY using Dollar Tree books. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. The first thing I did was remove my paper covers and I used generous amounts of Mod Podge to seal close each of my books. Since most of my books don't have a smooth spine like this one, I'm using Mod Podge and waste paper to cover up the raised lettering on three of my books. I only covered the center of the spine with the paper, but I'll show you a little later on in the video why it's a good idea to cover the entire spine instead. Thirty minutes later, I used a strong adhesive and hot glue to stack and adhere all four of my books together. Next, I added one coat of satin acrylic paint in the color pure black. I'm only painting the book covers and not the pages. I then allowed my paint to completely dry. Once my black paint was completely dry, I then added three coats of satin acrylic paint in the color wicker white. I added the white paint to the book covers and the pages as well. Here's what my books look like after three coats. Once my paint was dry, I turned my books over and I painted the opposite side as well.
Here's why I should have added the paper to the entire spine. Some of the paper slightly lifted because of the paint. And I think it would be a little less noticeable if the paper reached all the way to the edges of the spine. To decorate my books, I'm using Dollar Tree Rub on Transfers and gold washi tape that I picked up from Hobby Lobby for just under $2. To help protect my rub on transfer letters and to keep my washi tape in place, I'm using some of this quick cover shelf and drawer liner that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree. To protect the paint on the top and bottom of my books, I also added the contact paper to those areas as well. And here's the finished look. I really like how these super cute metallic gold and white coffee table books turned out and I made them both for under $20. And I also used the leftover white paint to spruce up this really pretty vase that I picked up from Goodwill for only $1. hope you enjoyed this week's video if so please like comment and share and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video remember i upload new videos every single week so until next time dazzlers bye